hey, bro, we got to go outside and talk about it. Coincidentally, no cap, we are literally to a car. There's like three, four, five, six. There's like apartment complexes on both sides of the street that we live on. Heck of them back to back, different apartment complexes. Coincidentally, we are two apartment comp. No, one, two, three apartment complexes from where he dog walked me in the courtyard. We three apartment complexes from that one. I said, yeah, bro, you remember uh, back about four years ago, bro, when we had the little get down with me, you and Ben? He like, oh, man, we was youngsters, man. And I was like, nah, bro, I need that. I need that right now. He like, and of course he said, say less. Let's go outside. You ain't said nothing, youngster. You know what's finna happen the same way, right? We finna figure all that out. I promise you when I tell you this man never touched me once. Because first of all, He's like 5'9", 5'10", 150, 160. I'm 6'2", 200. He took the first swing. I picked him up, dumped him on his neck on the grass, and got on him, right? Drug him all around the grass of the whole courtyard. And then when we was done, I helped him up and went and bought a, ho and went and bought a bottle of Jose Cuevo Gold. So the, st the moral of this story, the moral of this story it's careful what you do to people now because you never know if they might catch you later, man. If you don't do nothing else in life, stay loyal.